Good afternoon, everybody. Attorney General Martha Coakley. Um, joining me today uh, is the uh, State Police Detective Lieutenant uh, Robert Irwin, who's assigned to our office. Um, to his left is the Special Agent in Charge of ICE's Homeland Security Investigations, Bruce Focard. Um, to my left is uh, Christopher Walsh, who is the uh, Bureau Chief of our Criminal Bureau. And to his uh, left is Dean Mazone, who is the Chief of our Enterprise Crimes Division. We are here today to announce the first arrests by our office under the new human trafficking law, which took effect in Massachusetts just one month ago. These arrests are the result of a joint, months-long investigation, including our office, uh, the Massachusetts State Police, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, uh, in which is the Homeland Security Investigations Division. We work closely also with Boston Police, Chelsea Police, and Lynn Police in this investigation. And uh, I appreciate uh, the work that all of those agencies uh, have done in working together. Arrested today are four individuals. Two, we allege, were primary leaders of this organization. They are first Rafael Enriquez, he's age 39, uh, and his wife, Ramona Caprio Hernandez, age 50. We also arrested two additional people who we believe and alleged worked with them and who oversaw locations used for this criminal enterprise engaged in human trafficking. They are Milton Lopez in his 30s um, and a man at this time in his 30s known only to us by his alias, Bombillo. All four individuals at this time are charged with one count of human trafficking. They're expected to be arraigned um, in Chelsea and East Boston courts on Monday morning. This morning, state police and federal agents assigned, uh, assigned and working with our office executed search warrants at several locations in East Boston and Chelsea. The action uh, today came about after an extensive investigation uh, in which we had identified a sophisticated human trafficking organization and operation at those locations. Um, we did use electronic surveillance and other uh, methods of investigation. Um, this is an open and ongoing investigation, I might add, so I'm focused on these arrests that we made today. Um, the business model that we saw and we allege in these indictments included the fact that over a period of time in the last four weeks, uh, we believe that between um, two to three women a week, in total over 12 women, um, some locally, some from out of state, um, were brought to these locations in order to provide um, sexual trafficking. Um, and two were in locations, at the locations in East Boston and Chelsea. And in one instance, um, the business model provided that there would be out calls. And so uh, one of the women would respond um, and travel to locations, uh, presumably dictated by the, the uh, customers for this business. We believe, and part of this statute uh, uh, directs us to investigate and prosecute those who are treated as commodities to be exploited, exploited or sold. And we allege that in this instance, these women were sold time and time again in a 24-hour period, often 14 to 15 times a day. Uh, as I mentioned, it's an active and ongoing investigation. We are continuing to gather evidence about the extent of this enterprise, both um, in uh, Massachusetts and as we believe uh, to date that many of these women were on a circuit um, throughout New England and other states in this business, so it is also part of our investigation. Uh, we believe that the new law allows us to better investigate and hold accountable those uh, who will exploit, uh, as in this instance, women for profit. Uh, it has been a priority of our office for a while. Uh, and we appreciate that in this instance, as we hope in the future, it will be so for our office as we work with our federal partners and our other partners in the Commonwealth. Thank you. Special uh, uh, agent in charge. Good afternoon. I am Bruce Folkhart, special agent in charge of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, Homeland Security Investigations, or HSI, here in Boston. I'm pleased to be here with Honorable Attorney General Martha Coakley and Detective Lieutenant Robert Irwin of the Mass State Police. I would also like to recognize the Boston, Lynn, and Chelsea Police Departments for their help also in this investigation. Today we are pleased to be part of the investigation and arrest of four human traffickers. These individuals are now behind bars thanks to the great partnership HSI has with the Attorney General's Office and the Massachusetts State Police. 
We are honored and privileged that HSI played an integral part in this investigation under the new law in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. As the largest investigative component of the Department of Homeland Security, HSI has the responsibility for conducting domestic and international investigations of human trafficking that are much more common than you might think. The greatest challenge in combating human trafficking is victim identification. Surprisingly, many people are unaware that human trafficking occurs every day, even in New England. As HSI places a priority on human trafficking investigations, we recognize victims of human trafficking as crime victims, so we employ a victim-centered approach that places equal value on the rescue and needs of victims and the prosecution of traffickers. For example, HSI provides immigration status to individuals identified to law enforcement as victims of human trafficking. This status allows these victims to remain in the United States during the prosecution of human trafficking related crimes committed against them. Victims of these crimes may also qualify for other forms of immigration benefits depending on their unique circumstances. Trafficking victims are eligible for T and U non-immigrant st non status, which permits them to remain in the United States for up to four years and can lead to lawful permanent residence. This investigation is an example of why no one entity can adequately address the problems human, trafficking's present, human trafficking presents. As such, we will continue to collaborate with our U.S. and foreign law enforcement partners and with non-governmental organizations or NGOs through information sharing, outreach, training, and investigation throughout New England. Again, I am honored that HSI played such a vital role in this investigation. Thank you. Thank you. Questions?